This is Let's Talk Chattanooga Real Estate, the podcast where we cover home buying, home selling, home improvement tips and ideas, market trends and developments, and investing in real estate. If you own real estate in the Chattanooga, Tennessee area, or want to own real estate here, then you're in the right place. Let's Talk Chattanooga Real Estate is hosted by Blake Watson, a real estate agent and investor in Tennessee and Georgia, brokered by EXP Realty, LLC. Welcome to Let's Talk Chattanooga Real Estate. I'm Blake Watson, a licensed agent in Tennessee and Georgia and brokered by EXP Realty, LLC. My guest is Gina Whitener, who owns Udawa Nursery and Landscape Company, along with her husband, Wendell. Welcome, Gina. Hi, Blake. It's nice to be here. It's great to have you today. Udawa Nursery and Landscape Company, you guys have been around a long time. It started in 1989. You probably dreamed about it a bit before that and maybe had some other reasons for starting. But but I know you've been around for a while there in Udawa, 16 acres. Tell me how you began and kind of the story of Udawa Nursery. Well, my husband was a landscaper. We were in a... um, two-bedroom house and we were about to have a child and his office was in our house and he said I really need to get a place and so he started looking in Udawa and we found a piece of property that was not for sale and Wendell negotiated and we got it and we started Udawa Nursery 35 years ago. 35 years ago started, but it has grown. And I know you've added a lot of not just products, but you've even added a farmer's market. Yes, we have. Our farmer's market is in in the 12th year and it's a um, farms and food. We carry a lot of stuff. Uh, We have a lot of farmers. It's local within a 100 miles radius, I believe. Everybody loves it. What days do you have the market? The market is on Thursdays, and it's from 3 to close, and it's year-round. They sell produce, and they sell soaps and honey and cupcakes and breads and all kinds of stuff. All the things that you might want at a market, huh? Mm-hmm. And you say it's artisans and farmers from within about 100 miles? Yes, and it's um, the third largest farmer's market in Hamilton County. Wow. Mm -hmm. So it has grown quite a bit over the years. Mm -hmm. We were in the best of the best for the farmer's market and produce this year, and also best of the best for the garden center. The Udawa Nursery and Landscape Company has been really a staple in the community for many years. And I have noticed when I'm shopping that you have a very large selection of plants, supplies, Mm -hmm. tools, all kinds of things. Can you just share some of the things that may make Udawa Nursery stand out and be different than other places? Yes, I can. One thing is we have very, very large trees. So if you need a big tree, we have up to three inch caliber trees. They, They can be 16 foot tall. And you say, well, I would love to have a big tree, but I don't have any way to get it in my yard. Well, we offer uh, nursery plantings as well. So uh, you just pick out your trees and your shrubs. And the idea of nursery plantings is just you already know where your plant's going to be. It's not a residential landscaping project. You know where you want your stuff. And so we do get our landscaping company to come out there and we plant whatever you have purchased that you know where you're putting it. We have never had any complaints. Our landscape crew is um, very professional. And one thing that we stress with our landscape crew is clean up. We clean up after ourselves and people just absolutely love that. We also carry a large amount of annual flowers. We sell a lot of flowers, lots of varieties. Our tomatoes, for the last few years, we've had 75 different varieties of tomatoes. Wow. Can't find that anywhere else, I don't (laughs) think. 75 varieties. Yes. Man. Uh, It's crazy. But some people are 
really interested in different varieties. And um, Kat is our general manager, and she loves tomatoes. And she can tell you every variety and all kind of information about it. We also carry 60 different varieties of herbs, which is also crazy. We have 25 different varieties of blueberries. And our fruit tree variety, or fruits, is the largest variety in Chattanooga and possibly the state of Tennessee. Mm -hmm. We carry apples and peaches and pears and cherries, at least eight different varieties of those. We also have unusual fruits, 10 different varieties of figs, pomegranates, kiwi, that's hardy for here, and pawpaws, lots of different uh, fruit. We also have a huge selection of native plants, butterfly bushes and crepe myrtles, and we've got handouts on native things as well. Another thing that we do that no one else does that I'm aware of is we get in bare root roses in January, and we pot them up, and we sell them. We have fragrant English roses, climbing roses, hybrid tea roses, floribundas, shrubs, all kinds of roses. And on March the 15th, which happens to be a Friday this year, we have the roses available for sale. And last couple of years, we've had people at our door at 8 a.m. on Friday morning <laughs> waiting wow. because wow. Um, they cannot buy them before. We, we want to get a, a good root system on them, but we have them where people can see them and stuff. So they are very anxiously waiting. Some people take off work and come over to buy their roses on March 15th. So we have that. We also have large fountains, large fountains. I don't believe there's anyone else that sells big fountains. And we will also install them mm. as, um, in a nursery planting as well. We carry sod. Yeah, sod. I've been there to pick up sod. And um, yeah, it's amazing the varieties of, we of have sod. Three have. varieties yeah. fescue, Bermuda, and zoysia. And we sell it by the piece or we sell it by the pallet. On the pallet, you have to order it and then you have to pick it up when it comes in because you can't sit on the pallet forever. And we have bulk items. We have hardwood mulch, which is most, most popular, but we also do playground mulch. We sell that to the schools sometimes. We have a garden soil mix you use for your garden, a landscape mix that we create that we suggest that you use for and whenever you're planting, and that's what we use when we plant either the nursery plantings or our commercial jobs. We carry all kind of river rock, lots of different sizes, pea gravel, crushed gravel, crusher run, sifted topsoil. We get our topsoil and we sift it through a machine and we sell it sifted and we sell it unsifted as well. So um, we have a, a lot of different things that you don't see in a um, typical nursery retail garden center. We do a senior discount every Wednesday. Seniors get 10% off. And then we have a rewards program, which gives 5% off. And you can combine those. So on Wednesday, if you're in the rewards program and you're a senior, you get 15% off. There you go. Nice benefit. So listening to you describe all of these items or just just listing them off it's amazing how many different things and hard to find things that you have available in your retail store do you find that people just come and explore wander around do you encourage that yes yes <laughs> yes we do encourage that. it's like going to a <laughs> botanical garden it sounds right. like yeah <laughs> yeah we also have a bonsai which is difficult to find and um rocks and boulders big boulders which are becoming more popular as a landscaping item is a big gigantic rock and our chairs our adirondack chairs they're made from recycled plastic oh so they last forever yeah i like the idea of just coming over wandering around 
picking some things up, being inspired. It sounds like I could come over with my family and wander around and say, well, that is something I've never thought about, or that's just what I've seen in some elaborate display somewhere else, mm -hmm. and that's what I've been looking for. I just didn't know I was looking for it. I've just, right. <laughs> here it is. You know? Yeah. That's, that's great. And it sounds like, at least for the larger items or the difficult items for a homeowner to manage, that you'll help them with that as far as as installation mm -hmm. yep yep we install it and um, we also deliver it you don't have to have something installed we have delivery we deliver actually every single day during the week we have a driver he just delivers all day every so day. <laughs> so if i want a 16 foot tree that i've selected at your store you can deliver it to me and i can dig the hole and work on it and you, it you or can. you can do that <laughs> generally how that goes is we get a phone call from the customer that says, you know, I really can't dig this hole. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm thinking, yeah. And I thought I wanted to, but I really don't. We do not dig the holes by hand. We have equipment. Sure. We have so much equipment. We have augers and bobcats and JCBs and well, we have bulldozers and we have a lot of equipment. So we we work smart, not labor intensive. So if we deliver a 16 foot tree and you want us to plant it, it will come with a trailer with a bobcat and an, an auger and we will auger the hole. But before that, I have a person, Sheila is her name, and she's our customer specialist. And she will do one calls, so we want to make sure we're not hitting any lines. Oh, right, before you dig, mm -hmm. call. Okay. Yeah, so we do one calls. You have to wait a couple of days before. So she lines everything up, and she asks a million questions that need to be asked sure. before you dig and stuff. So we've got that. That process is perfected by now. Well, that's really great. And just hearing about even the accents, like the fountains and the rocks and mm -hmm. things like that. You have a, a, a variety of items that could be just used in the patio or mm -hmm. uh, just in the outdoor area of a home. Mm -hmm. any, any outdoor space, it would be wise to come to Udawa Nursery and take a look around. Yes, and we have the greatest staff. A lot of, our, a lot of my staff, we've been here 35 years. A lot of my staff is on their 15 20 year mark they've been i have one, sheila that i talked about she's been with us i think 25 years wow they know their um, stuff don't they yeah, yeah they they know what they're talking about and uh, a lot of the staff have um, horticultural degrees they love helping people and would love to have you come down yeah so the experience the customer experience if you come in you're just wandering around. You might pick out a few things. There is someone there that I can ask about. How would I go about planting this or uh, oh, yeah. get some details about how to take care of the item, mm -hmm. uh, the plant? Ideally, we would be approaching you at some point to ask you if you need any help. If you don't see anyone right away, you know, please go up to the cash cashier. We have radios and they'll radio to have someone come and help you we love to help and want to help you find what you need a lot of times if you're redesigning your yard or even starting fresh we ask them to ask you to bring in pictures and we'll sit down with you and look at the pictures and uh, tell you some of the products that plants that will look good in that area and stuff so we do that too that's a great idea and i know there's some plants that you don't want to plant <clears throat> close to your house your foundation mm -hmm. or that, that are going to cause problems if you have them too close to the house mm -hmm. or and some need obviously sunshine some need to be on a slope some need there's all kinds of different mm -hmm. uh, things and so it's so helpful to have experts mm -hmm. uh, and it sounds like your staff has so many years of experience and i'm sure they've heard every story oh, yeah. from every customer about <laughs> what happened with this or that and mm -hmm. and they've seen a lot of situations so mm -hmm. Yep. That's a good benefit for us as, as customers to be able to come in and just ask, hey, how does this work? Yep. And Great we also have to handouts, too, uh, on a lot of the topics and stuff. We have 
handouts like the fruit trees. Some fruit trees need pollinators and some don't and all that kind of information. We we have a little information kiosk with um, lots of lots of stuff on it. That's great. Yes, I, I do have pear trees in my house and apple trees, and I do recognize or realize they need pollinators. I guess the blueberries do as well, don't Some they? Some blueberries yes. do too, yes. Okay, and you said you had 15 varieties or more of blueberries. Mm-hmm. It was a lot of varieties. 25 oh, varieties 20. <laughs> of blueberries. We have tons of blueberries out tons there. Tons of blueberries. What a great uh-huh. treat they are. Oh, and another thing I forgot to mention, we also pot up our own um, perennials in January and February. That's what we've been doing recently. We get, can't even remember how many, I think it's 3,000 to 5,000 perennials, and we, we pot them up and grow them. And what that gives us is an opportunity to have a lot of different varieties. We we have a whole lot of perennials. And what I'm hearing, too, when you said you are potting them up and growing them, that tells me they're being grown locally. I mm-hmm. mean, you've, you've received them maybe from somewhere else, but mm-hmm. but now they're sitting there in Ottawa mm-hmm. growing. Mm-hmm. And so that makes them that much better acclimated to what they're going to mm-hmm. be in when we take them home, right? That's right. So we're just a few weeks away from the the first day of spring. Mm -hmm. And it's already starting to kind of feel like spring on some days. Mm -hmm. What should we be doing now to prepare for our spring planting? Well, you probably should have already done step one for fescue lawns. That is a crabgrass and weed preventer um, that will help keep the weeds from coming up this summer specifically crabgrass but it's not too late you can go ahead and get started on that because weeds will be germinating so i would suggest that also you have to be kind of careful with your summer annuals i know a lot of people get excited when we get in the 70 degree weather but our frost date the recommended date is april 15th People get excited, and we do carry the annuals, but there is a possibility, if you put them out, that they will get hit by the frost if it comes along. So some people are fine with taking that chance, but that's what might happen. So you have to be careful. Some of them you can cover. I found that impatience are very impatient (laughs) with (laughs) the frost and and you cannot save them even if you cover them they they really don't like it but some of the other annuals like petunias and stuff are they're a little easier they'll handle it a little bit better and tomatoes are are not very good with the frost either so just be careful just know if you get excited and want to plant everything on March the 1st that you're taking a chance some people are good with that and they just come back and and buy more if if it happens and if it doesn't happen they got an earlier start uh, agreed I've, I've certainly seen many gardens that have been planted early mm-hmm. frost comes as expected mm-hmm. actually and then they do have dead plants. So, yes, that's very good advice. Wait a little bit longer than maybe it feels like, right? Mm-hmm. If you can. If you can. If you can wait. Or if you want to. <laughs> or if you want to. It's okay. You're going to supply more if, if necessary, that's right? right? That's right. But you're giving fair warning and fair trying warning. to give good advice. So March 15th is the Day of the Roses, so to speak. The Day of the Roses. <laughs> I never knew that there was a day that boom, you're going to have all your roses available. Well, we just started that a few years back. Okay. We had so much interest in the the roses, and we're like, no, they're not ready. And we used to just wait, and some of them would be rooted, Mm. and we'd we'd sell them, and no, these aren't ready and stuff. So to make it easier on everyone, we came up with a a day they're all rooted by march 15th a few of them may be rooted a little sooner than that but we're not selling them yeah yeah that's great <laughs> we're selling them on march 15th march 15th that's we're putting it on the calendar and we'll need to be at Udwa nursery and landscape gina is there anything that i've left out or that you feel like we need to cover um we do also have a commercial landscape 
division of Udawa Nursery. And this past year, 2023, we won the Landscape Contractor of the Year for the state of Tennessee, which was pretty cool. Wow, yes. And um, we do a lot of landscape jobs. The most noticeable one now, I suppose, is Little Debbie Park that, mm. that opened last year. I also want to bring up the fact that Udawa Nursery and Landscape Company was awarded the 2023 Torch Award for Ethics by the Better Business Bureau. Now, Gina, you and I have known each other a long time. We went to high school together. Yep. And and Wendell, obviously, I've known him a long time, too. Yep. But, <laughs> so I have known that you guys are going to run a good ship over there Thank all you. of my all of my life. But this is really great that you were awarded this from the Better Business Bureau for Ethics. I think I think people like to know that they're dealing with someone that they they know there's going to treat them properly mm-hmm. and and be ethical in their business practices and you're going to be someone that they can they can rely on. Thank and you. So. Yes, it was a big deal. We did have to do an application and um, answer a lot of questions and and uh, showcase a, a lot of different stuff on it and very happy to be awarded that it's quite an honor so congratulations on that along with all of the other awards and best of the best and the top garden center in the southeast by today's garden center magazine just Mm -hmm. you guys have a lot of accolades so that's (laughs) (laughs) that's great yeah you have really beautified worked hard (laughs) you have beautified our city over the years and and so for that i thank you thank you we've worked real hard at it we we want to do outstanding job, nothing but excellence, and so it's nice to, to be awarded. Well, Gina, thank you so much for coming and being on the podcast today. Thank you for inviting me, Blake. It's good to have you here. How would someone contact Udawa Nursery? What's the website? I know they can drive up to the store, but where would they go? Um, the store is at 5829 Main Street in Udawa, Tennessee. Our phone number is 423 238 9775 www.udawanursery.com Excellent. Well, thank you. I'm Blake Watson, and I am an agent with EXP Realty LLC. My mobile phone is 423-315-1815, and my brokerage office phone is 888-519-5113, extension 1241. You can find me on Facebook and LinkedIn as Blake Watson and on Instagram as Rock and Roll Blake. My website is realestatebyblake.com. Please subscribe to this podcast so you won't miss an episode. And I look forward to talking with you next week on Let's Talk Chattanooga Real Estate.